is it just me or is YouTube really, really hard on family life? There's a couple of YouTube creators that I've followed over the years and I've noticed something. They get to a certain point and then all of a sudden they're making a video about uh, the new place that they're living. Now sometimes that's because, you know, they've done really, really well on YouTube and so they have a new house. But uh, the ones that I'm talking about are, you know, suddenly they're no longer in as nice of a place. It might be devoid of furniture and full of boxes. And uh, you can tell that uh, suddenly the, the YouTuber has kind of, well, they're, they're not doing so well. Anyway, I was watching one of these channels that I watch all the time and uh, yeah, the, the dreaded, I'm leaving this house and going to this other place, apartment instead of house or whatever, came along. And it's like, oh man, they sound like they're on the verge of tears the whole time. And uh, you're like, oh man, that happened. They, they don't come out and say it necessarily. Some of them do, they'll address it. They'll say like, yeah, I got divorced or something like that. But uh, a lot of times it's just that, like, they, they don't say it, but you know, you know that, they, you know, this isn't the happy house they're moving to. This isn't like the, the moving on to bigger and better things kind of thing. It's the, uh, I've been making too many YouTube videos and now my, uh, my wife has divorced me move video. Is that, is that a thing that's because of YouTube? I, I really want to know, you know, is it because of it's just so all consuming? Or is it something else, you know, that's just statistics and that this is happening outside of YouTube as well? Because I feel like uh, when I hear people, they get stressed and burned out on YouTube. I, I look at it as being more like a regular job. I mean, I've, I've worked, uh, you know, in management positions and such, and you, you end up, uh, you know, especially if you have your own business, you can end up working incredible hours. I mean, it's not something that uh, is specific to just YouTube and trying to get by on YouTube. But what's going on? Is it statistics or is it something to do with YouTube? Because this has happened, I mean, a lot. I, I, I think that I, there's four or five creators, as they call them, you know, all those people that make uh, videos on YouTube, not me. I'd never be a content creator. But um, you know what, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I guess I am a content creator. But you know what I mean. There's been like uh, four or five of these people, probably more. These are just the ones where they uh, they broke down and made the I'm moving to the poor house uh, video, you know. How many of these people is this happening to? I, I really, uh, it makes me worry, you know. Like I'm not experiencing these kinds of problems myself. Don't Don't worry about that. But it does make me worry a little bit. Like, do I really want to pursue this any further? Or am I risking uh, serious family problems somehow? What is it about it? I don't get it. Because like I said, I've, I've worked in different ways and uh, they, they, these uh, jobs that I've done have been very time consuming. More so than, uh, than doing YouTube has been. And uh, my, my marriage is still intact. I, uh, I'm still close with my, you know, my kid and everything. I, I don't know, is, is it, it, it can't possibly be something, and maybe it is. Like I said, I've been in these positions and done incredible amounts of work, you know, where I'm hardly ever at home, and things are still intact. So what is it about YouTube that this happens? You know, I've also noticed that it's, it's people that are at a certain level too. We're not talking about like me, you know, and get like 2,400 subscribers or something. It's always the million plus club, people that have lots and lots of subscribers. Is it an ego thing? Like uh, they, they got so full of themselves. I, they don't come across that way. Well, some of them do. I'll, I'll, I'll say some of them do. They come across like they really think they're the stuff because they've got, uh, I don't know if it's because of YouTube or if that's just how they are. But uh, a lot of these people, they don't come across that way. They seem pretty humble and meek-like. Maybe that's just a show on the camera. Maybe in real life, they're you know like some kind of a jerk. So their spouse is like, that's it. No more of this. I'd rather be married to the guy that's in the videos and you're not him in real life. So they, they leave them? I, I don't know. 
it's just uh, such a strange thing to, to notice that. I, I felt really bad for the guy that I was watching. I'm not going to say who it is, even though, you know, I don't have much of a reach or anything that uh, they would ever know it, but uh, I felt pretty bad, you know, watching that video. They're going through their studio and, you know, they sound like they've been uh, very depressed. You know, I still, I just can't figure it out. What are the, like, uh, groupies that come along with, you know, YouTube success? And these guys get involved with, like, a bunch of uh, ladies or something, and then their wife's like, that's it! I've had it with you and all of this. I'm, you know, get out of the house. You're going to go live in the poor house apartment thing now. Is that what's going on? I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it. I mean, we're not talking about rock stars here. These are, these are YouTube people. Well, I guess anything's possible. Is it a curse? Should I be thinking, I, you know, really? If you're making YouTube videos, maybe you ought to be thinking about this if you've got a family. I mean, if you're not married or anything, then I guess there's no, uh, nothing to worry about because you're not gonna know, you never know though. You might get married later on and they discover those YouTube videos and then the curse just comes and rears its ugly head and you're out. That's it, get out, of, they're giving you the boot and you're in that, uh, you know, really plain apartment dump place and that's it. Or you're no longer in your big fancy house, you know. Now you're, you're in the, the poor house. Your new house, <laughs> as they call it. My new place, my new studio, whatever it is. Is that what's, what you have to expect? I just, uh, just been thinking about that. Now I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna preempt this, not by quitting YouTube or anything. I'm never gonna get famous enough to actually have this be an issue anyway. But I do think that I better think about this. I better find ways to involve my family. I feel like, you know, if it is like the weird groupie thing, you know, maybe the wife gets jealous and she's like, that's it. Get, get the heck out of the house. I'm done with you and these ladies. If, you know, your family's involved, people see you've got a kid and stuff, they might leave you alone, right? There was, uh, I was doing some photography stuff. This reminds me. You know, I'm posting these, uh, these pictures and some, uh, some Chinese lady starts talking to me through the chat thing on the, uh, the, the app there. And uh, she's asking me about, you know, photography stuff and all this, you know, and I uh, mentioned my son and my wife. She's like, oh, you were married to someone from China? And immediately, you know, she went away. And I'm like, wait, weren't you trying to talk to me about photography? <laughs> what was that? You know, but uh, it, it's like a shield, you know? Yeah, your, your family, they act as a shield to protect your family. That sounds kind of strange, but uh, yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's it. Just make sure everybody knows. Cause you know, a lot of these guys, like sometimes they'll mention their spouse. I mean, my wife's been in a couple of my videos. Everybody, she has her own channel that I, I help her put together. But um, you know, maybe that's the key. Make sure they're involved. Even though, gosh, that, that I don't know. That sounds like, uh, my wife, I think I'd be okay with her being involved. I don't want my son getting caught up in the whole online video world situation. But uh, at least, you know, have him make an appearance maybe. And then people are like, oh, this is a family man. I better just, uh, you know, then all those ladies that come out of the woodwork when you get famous, they, they go away or whatever it is. Maybe it's, it's something else. Maybe these guys, you know, like they get, uh, making the videos and they get caught up in it and they're like buying all these really expensive cameras like man I gotta have the uh there was a dead wolf on the side of the road there I gotta have like the red cinema camera and all this you know I've got to get an Ari uh you know to make my YouTube videos and so even though it seems like they're really successful they're actually blowing all the cash they're buying up all this fancy equipment heading down the casino you know because they, uh, they blew all the money, so they gotta try and get the money, so they blow even more money. And the next thing they know, that it's the last straw, and the wife's like, that's it, I really love you, but uh, I can't take this anymore. Get out of here. And uh, you know, you're no good to our kid. You're, you're a bad influence. Until you get yourself straightened up, we're gonna have to be apart. And then of course, you know, they never get straightened up, because when, once you get caught up in that life, the camera life, there's no end. You, you can't get out of it. There's the new lenses and the new stuff and uh, the film look. 
and you, you just, you know, you can't get out of it. And so you become a camera bum and lose your family. Well, that kind of got off on the wrong direction. What, what is it with these guys? What is it? How do you protect against it? Anyway, I better end it there. I just, I just couldn't help it. I felt so bad for these guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>